Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So if you're new here, my name is Siobhan and I'm no longer a second year medical student at King's College London. My second year just got over a couple of weeks ago and now I'm heading into my third year of medical school. Um, whether or not I'm going into third year is conditional on the results of my final exam, which I hope went well, but let's see. Anyway, for all intents and purposes, second year is over. So today I'm going to be sitting here and reviewing my second year of medical school for you guys, specifically my second year at King's College London, all the different aspects of it, how it went for me what worked for me, what didn't work for me, it's basically me sort of giving out advice on my second year so that you don't have to sort of face the same challenges that I do and you can be familiar with the structure and uh, the way second year goes before you actually get into it. But before we get further into this video, I want you to go check out my YouTube channel because I make videos on medical school and university. So I make blogs, day in the life videos, videos with medical school advice and videos on how to get into medical school so go check those out and if you find my channel interesting, if you think it's something you'd be into then smash that subscribe button and join me for a lot more. Anyway, so coming back to second year of medical school, so second year is a bit different everywhere. I'm specifically going to be talking about my second year at King's but uh, it will have stuff that's you know broadly applicable to everybody uh, everybody going into their second year of med school so uh, just listen in and uh, hopefully there'll be some useful stuff here for you so I found second year to be quite enjoyable it was much more hands-on than first year first year is just usually setting a base and second year is now beginning to develop on that base what I see first year as is an introduction so basically introducing you to how everything is supposed to be normally so normal physiology normal anatomy normal everything and second year and onwards is to sort of build upon learning about pathologies and how to diagnose different pathologies how to treat them how to recognize them all sorts of stuff surrounding that so it's a lot more disease based so second year is obviously about integrating that science that you learned in first year and that you're continuing to learn into clinical practice. So obviously that means that second year also involves a lot of clinical medicine and clinical teaching. So first of all the science you learn is taught in a clinical context and then you also spend time on clinical placements. So in hospitals, in your general practices, all of that so um, you get a lot more patient exposure and uh, you develop your sort of skills outside medical science your communication skills your clinical skills and all of that is developed on placement so just to give you a rough idea of what second year looked like for me so on monday we had a bunch of lectures on tuesday we had gp placement morning to evening on Wednesday, we had nothing in the first half of the year, but in the second half of the year, we had anatomy, specifically head and neck anatomy, which we hadn't covered in year one. And then on Thursdays, first half of the year, we had an introduction to clinical research block. And then in the second half of the year, we had our student selected component, which was basically, uh, as it says in the name, a component selected by us as students. So we were given a bunch of options of different projects. Uh, to sort of do an in-depth study and so uh, the one I got was viral vectors and cell and gene therapy and if you've seen my vlogs which I'll keep throwing up around here because I pretty much documented my second year of medical school on this channel so if you've seen my vlogs you know what my student selected component was all about I had to sort of do a presentation write a paper uh, things like that and then finally Friday finishes off the week with hospital placement so you're on different wards, different clinics and then you sit in on teaching sessions in the afternoon within the hospital. So another part, important part of second year was the assessments and the exams we had to give. So we had two different types of assessments mainly in second year. The first was um, 
written exams which were our progress tests. So at King's there's this really interesting concept of progress tests which are basically uh, 100 question tests that you're given every few months in your second and third year and the tests don't change at all throughout those two years. So you're giving a test based on the same content and the same syllabus at the start of your second year till the end of your third year so um, obviously initially your scores are really poor on the test because obviously you haven't learned most of the content so uh, you're quite clueless and as time progresses with each test your score should get better and uh, you should see a sort of upward graph so it's basically a uh, King's way or our medical school's way of um, employing active recall in our learning because we see questions on things that we've not learned about which prompts us to go and try and learn about them or at least prompts us to try and think of answering the question right there and then without any prior knowledge um, and that sort of creates certain pathways in our mind to remember the information when we learn it later on in our lectures and stuff like that. Um, initially it was quite daunting and I didn't really like it because uh, who likes seeing a really low score on your test? But uh, as time goes on you actually see the benefits of progress tests and uh, it's it becomes, it really, it makes you try and learn things on your own which I believe is one of the best ways of learning because uh, that way you really control it and you absorb it in the best way possible for you because learning at the end of the day I feel is quite tailored to the learner because um, yeah everyone takes in information in different ways. So what I forgot to mention in the video is that there's another form of assessment in second year and that's OSCEs or clinical examinations and these are basically like oral exams where you have to take histories and conduct examinations on simulated patients, real patients, stuff like that. So they were quite intense, they weren't graded this year, they were um, just kind of a learning experience and they really reminded me of MMIs or medical school interviews because even though the content is completely different, the structure is pretty much the same. So I only have a couple of tips for your second year, if you're going into your second year soon. Um, so first of all, the first thing would be to take things seriously, but don't take them too seriously. Because at the end of the day, your second year, yeah, it requires a lot more responsibility, a lot more commitment. Um, and it definitely requires you to be sort of very, um, I'm looking for another word, but I, the only thing I can think of is serious about things because this is all of this in, is now your professional responsibility. If you miss lectures, if you miss placements and you miss out on learning and you decide to skip stuff and not take things seriously, it will impact your development as a medical student as a doctor and it will have a major impact on your scores and your learning later on so um definitely take things seriously in that way but at the same time don't take things too seriously to the point where you don't give yourself any leeway any free time uh any sort of flexibility to enjoy yourself because second year at the end of the day it's still your second out of five years of medical school or six years of medical school so uh it's still a time for you to enjoy yourself, to be social, to take part in all sorts of activities because you still have a decent amount of time outside medical school and if you manage your time well and everything is possible. And so now my second set of advice is going to sort of flow right out of the previous thing I said and that's to have, try and have some sort of a social life in second year because it's very easy to burn out when you have something going on every day of the week and you don't have that much time and at the end of the day if you don't have a social life if you don't take part in whatever social events you can it will catch up to you at some point trust me i love spending time alone uh, more than anyone else uh, but at the same time i try once in a while to go out with some friends or something like that whenever the opportunity presents itself because if you don't you will really start to get exhausted and tired of your life. That sounds way too deep, but things will start to get really, really 
monotonous and uh, that's happened to me and I really regretted it at that point so don't let that happen to you. Go clubbing, uh, go out for meals with your friends, go out for walks with people around you, do all that because uh, that will keep you going because second year is, believe me, medical school is a marathon and not a sprint. That's sort of the perfect way to describe it, because uh, you have to you have to sustain yourself throughout. You can't just go all in and uh, come out a year later being like I'm exhausted. I don't want any more of this. It's the second tip also goes right into the third tip, and that's spread your year out evenly. So I made a major mistake in second year that way. The first half of the year, my first term, um, first few months, I. I think I spent way too much time on social activities, going out with people. I, I mean, I attended everything I had to for medical school, but I burnt myself out on social stuff and seeing other people because I had no time for myself. So my all my time would get taken up with either medical school or social activities and you must be thinking that sounds great like you know oh all you have to you is like you know medical school and social life what could be better uh, but that's really not the case because uh, I had no routine I had no time for myself which is very important and that got me sort of burnt out from social activity in the second half of the year and in the second half of the year I was spending almost all my time alone, focusing on myself a lot, but at some point it became like too much alone time and uh, me just sort of isolating myself from all socialization and stuff like that and that ended up being my second, the second half of the year. So I really wish I had spread things out evenly. If I had saved some of my energy in the first half of the year, I would have been able to partake in such things in the second half of the year. But at the end of the day, it's, it is what it is. I learned what I had to learn from it and I'll remember that going into my future years but I want you to remember that too. One more thing, don't be afraid to reach out to people when you need help in uh, in second year but this is true for when whichever year you, you're in in medical school. Like honestly we had PALS tutors um, which is basically peer assisted learning in Kings where uh, third years teach us second years and uh, they, they, they just seem so knowledgeable and uh, they they were so helpful and uh, they that, that really helped like asking them questions, learning from them, stuff like that so definitely find someone who knows a lot more than you because there's always someone who knows more than you and uh, leech off of them because uh, that 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 will benefit you, and I'm sure it'll benefit them teaching you some stuff and sharing their knowledge with you. And I'm sure everyone is keen to. So, uh, don't be afraid to reach out to people when you need help or need guidance or when you just want to know more. But with that, I don't think I can think of anything else regarding second year. That's all the advice I had. Uh, I've spoken for a long time, rambled on for a long time, but hopefully I, there was some helpful advice in there and uh, there's something to take away and something that you can implement when you go to medical school and when you start your second year or before you start your second year. Yeah, I hope the video was helpful. I hope it was interesting and if it was, Drop a like down below, smash that subscribe button and uh, before I forget, if you have any questions about first year, second year, medical school in general, drop a comment down below, DM me on Instagram, whatever is easiest, I'll try to respond as soon as I can and also share the video with your friends who may be starting medical school soon as well or maybe going into their second year of medical school, whoever needs this, whoever would find it helpful and with that, I will see you in the next one.